welcome 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 wherever you are in the world on this beautiful blue planet spinning in space welcome to the daily antidote of song brought to you by the good folks at carpe diem arts my name is my name is shruti i am in chile delhi in india today and um yeah um i'm so glad to see all of you all in this room for day 1396 of the daily antidote of song let's give a little whoop whoop and um, as you do that perhaps there's somebody above you in the zoom box and you can give them a little high five and give a high five on the side and down below <clears throat> oh wherever you are it's going to be different for every person but thank you for being here welcome to everyone on the live streams uh again thank you for uh tuning in thank you for being here oh welcome arlene in stormy berkeley welcome deborah in kentucky hi susan in cincinnati hi gary in massachusetts hi becky in vermont hi kate in charlottesville hi aloysius in massachusetts hi dan walker in vienna hi sheila in north florida hi nikesh in bengaluru hi cricket hi kevin in new hampshire hi lily hi fred in silver spring hi linda on orcas island hi clive and ruth in birmingham hi sue in seattle hi linda in concord nick in the uk and in silver spring Hi Mr. James Harkless, hi Hoda, hi um Nancy in Washington, hi Bob and the Bears and perhaps Mabel, hi Bronwyn in Victoria BC, hi Marjorie and hi LMG in Connecticut, hi Delhi, hi Sandy in North Carolina, Diane in Puerto Rico, hi Anne in Nashville, Julie Wolf, hi Carolyn, thank you for reminding us that it's day 1396, uh hi Sarah in Texas, hi Isabel, hi Bonnie in Boise. Hi Jane in Texas. Hi Louise. Uh welcome to Karen. Uh welcome to Julie. Um welcome everyone. Um thank you to Joe and to Aaron for holding the the green room, the most fabulous green room uh in the entire world of performing arts if I might say so. Um and uh, we're delighted today to welcome a wonderful new uh song leader at the daily antidote coming in uh today from maine um thanks to the wonderful uh dr kathy bullock is uh pego and paul hodes uh let's give it up let's give a wonderful <laughs> warm daily antidote of song welcome welcome pego and paul what are we singing today and thank Hi. you for being here. Well, actually um Kathy Bullock was the inspiration for this song. It she she did a I I was a director of a big chorus called Song Weavers and when the pandemic came, she was our guest artist. And in that program, she said, you know, joy is a decision we make every day. And she was just saying it straight out. And Paul is a really great my husband Paul is a great composer and that little phrase just went wheeling around and next thing you know, we have a song. So, um Joy's a decision. Just sing along with us. It's pretty simple. It's a blues tune about being happy. Joy's a decision we make every day. When you got the blues, you can find a better way. Hey, joy's a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning, drive those blues away. There's joy when we're happy. joy when we're sad there's joy when we celebrate all the gifts we've had there's joy in the giving there's joy when we receive some help from our friends when we feel the need joy's a decision we make every day when you've got the blues you can find a better way hey joy's a decision we make every day Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. When you're feeling lonely, when you're down and blue, you don't have to worry, let me tell you what to do. Put your feet up on the floor, your hands up in the air. Move your feet and shout for joy and say goodbye to care. Joy is a decision we make every day. 
When you've got the blues, you can't find a better way. Oh, joy's a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. I say joy's a decision we make every day. When you've got the blues, you can't find a better way. Oh, joy's a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. You can't wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. My goodness, let's give it up for Pego and Paul. <laughs> wow, how fabulous was that? I Thank think you. we were all like singing and, and dancing. It was like instant. What a brilliant uh, composition. What, what a brilliant song. Thank you for sharing it with us. Um, you have some experience in drawing out people's voices, don't you, don't you, Pego? Um, yes, I, I've spent my life teaching voice, directing choirs, mostly women's choirs, actually, but occasionally, occasionally some men too. <laughs> this man anyway. Um, yeah, I love voice. I do sound meditation. I'm a, a biofield tuning practitioner. We use tuning forks to heal and restore the body. Anything with vibration, I really love. And the voice is our own, you know, our own instrument. We carry it everywhere we go. So it's fabulous. That's amazing. And, and you are writing a book right now oh on, nice prompt on... nice prompt <laughs> <laughs> yes i am i am writing a book called your wild voice that's the working title and i am interested what i noticed as a as a teacher is and as i noticed in myself is that we get our voices get compressed we're afraid to speak up it's like speaking in front of public is like number our biggest fear after death maybe sometimes in you know before death in some polls so why is that and why are we so uh, compressed in our voice and in this time in the world what we need is everyone's unique voice speaking up so we can save the planet so i am interested in stories people all of you on the screen might have about how you use your voice and when you had it repressed and what were the consequences and when you actually were able to speak up and or sing out and really feel like i am connected to my core this feels marvelous and and how do we navigate and get to do that more often how does one decompress do you have uh like a, a quick fix that or you know one thing maybe that you'd like to share with this group on how uh, how we could poss possibly decompress if if we are feeling feeling that way well i will say the first thing that i always do is sing so today in fact we joe and i were going to be doing this together at concord community music school where i've taught for over 30 years in concord new hampshire and I got back spasms, which I'm sitting on a hating pad back here and a pillow. And this is the first time I've been sitting up in a couple days. So, but you know, even just laying some, if you're really sick and you can't really sing, just humming, humming will change the vibration of the whole body of all your cells. Everything just drops down. So it's such a simple thing that we can do and to, you know, soothe and calm. So humming, that's my first thing. And deep breathing. That's the good thing about singing. You have to breathe, right? You have to breathe in bigger ways than you do when you're just standing around or sitting around. So that's why singing and, and using our voice is so powerful. Well, we're sending you healing energies and hope that uh, you're able to um, go and, and do what you need to do uh, later in the day. Um, and thank you for, for reminding us to breathe. I wonder if we can just like take a minute to just check in with ourselves like like you prompted and just i don't know breathe before we hear more about uh, your gigs coming up and then we get to sing the song again but maybe just one minute would you like to uh, uh, yeah sure like, like, so is that, is that, okay. what i do is just close our eyes and then first just notice what's happening where is your energy <clears throat> where is it like when we first stop, I feel like my sternum is kind of a wall and it doesn't really give and it can give. So just notice where in your body your breath is moving and where it isn't. 
and then gently invite the air to go deeper to kind of be like a domino train, move those things in the body, move them apart, the lungs inflate, they press against the heart, the diaphragm, the guts underneath, everything just moves out of the way so that the lungs can fully inflate and easily sigh back out. And wherever it feels especially tight, just breathe space into that area. And then for a very last thing, let's do this. This is the quick version. You can stay in this as long as you like. But on, the, on your next exhale, let's all hum, all notes together. So inhale. That was lovely. <laughs> what a simple prompt I find that thank you for doing that lovely lovely exercise just reminding us to get back to the breath and to to the voice that was so lovely and if anybody uh, as as Pego mentioned uh, she's looking for stories uh, of of you and your voice and there's there's a there's an email id uh, is that on your website should we put it uh in in the you chat can, and in the comments yeah actually i put my email address in there and you can just send them to me directly so we can have a correspondence if we if you're interested that would be great yeah that sounds fantastic so um i i, I hope we have we have lots of stories from this community of of decompressing and uh, <laughs> getting our voices out into the world and yeah thank you for that simple simple joyous exercise Is so i do want to any... say if any yeah i was going to say if you're in new england the i we have a couple of concerts coming up um, one is uh, this sunday february 4th at 5 p.m at the dance hall in kittery Kittery, Maine is right over the bridge from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So depending on where you live. And then next week on February 8th, we are playing at Concord Community Music School. So that is in Concord, New Hampshire um, at 1210. That is our affectionately known box lunch concert spelled B-A-C-H apostrophe S, box lunch. <laughs> and our daughter is coming from Nashville to play with us. So that is really fun. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Becky. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. And thank you for for sharing all of that. Oh, we have uh, it on the chat or in the comments, depending on where you're tuning into this. Um, and good luck for your concerts and, and all of your wonderful work, this book. And I hope you get um, lots of wonderful stories that we can then and share with each other and, and read and unlearn and decompress. Uh, I love you. that. I've used it five times already, ever since you, you gave the prompt. Uh, Pego and Paul, would, would you like to uh, lead us in with that delightful song once more? We'd love to sing it with you. Yeah, and I would like to invite people. This is a blues, you know. In a blues, no one sings it the same way twice. And the melody is simple enough so you can just vary it and improv and just imagine yourself as B.B. King or Ella Fitzgerald or, or you where you are. Just feel free to um, improvise and run amok a little bit here. Joy's a decision we make every day. When you've got the blues, you can find a better way. Hey, joy's a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. There's joy when we're happy. There's joy when we're sad. There's joy when we celebrate all the gifts we have. There's joy in the giving. There's joy when we receive some help from our friends when we feel the need. Joy is a decision we make every day. When you've got the blues, you can find a better way. Oh, joy is a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. When you're 
feeling lonely when you're down and blue. You don't have to worry, let me tell you what to do. Put your feet up on the floor, your hands up in the air. Move your feet and shout for joy and say goodbye to prayer. Joy is a decision we make every day. When you've got the blues, you can find a better way. Hey, joy is a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. I say joy is a decision we make every day. When you've got the blues, you can find a better way. Hey, joy is a decision we make every day. Wake up in the morning and drive those blues away. You can wake up in the morning and drive those blues hey, away. Drive those blues away. Woo! <laughs> that was fun seeing everybody dance in your boxes. Oh my gosh, that was way fun. Great. <laughs> I go and Paul, that was fun. Fabulous. Thank you so, so, so much. Let's give a big daily attitude of song. Whoop. Gang. Thank, you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Back at Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and good luck for, for everything that you're doing. And we can't wait to sing with you again and dance with you again. Um, this was utterly fabulous. And um, yes, please write into uh, Pego when, if, uh, if you feel like sharing some stories about your voice. Um, and thank you for being here in this uh, in this room. And uh, big thank you to to Pego and Paul. Let's let's uh, wave uh, goodbye to Pego and Paul, everyone. Thank you, thank you so 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 much for being here, <laughs> and sing, awesome. making us sing and dance and improvise and be BB King, if only for uh, a tiny. Uh, <laughs> <Right. or two. laughs> thank you, everyone on the live stream uh, for for being here. Goodbye. Um, and uh, we, um, yeah, thank you for singing on day 1396. We have um, a birthday in the house today, people. If you'd like to, to stay back and uh, bring out those birthday cards for Jane, uh, we, will, we will stay after, after the live stream. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, Mabel and Bob and the Bears. Thank you, Aaron, for all your holding and hosting. Thank you, Arlene in Stormy Berkeley. Thanks, Susan in Cincinnati. Thanks, Becky in Somerville. We're going to be singing with some of you soon. Thanks, Kate in Charlottesville. Thanks, Dan Walker in Vienna. Thanks, Sheila in North Florida. Thanks, Nikesh in Bangalore. Thanks, Cricket. Thanks, Linda on Orcas Island. Thanks, Sue in Seattle. Nice hat. Uh, thanks, Mr. James. Thanks, uh, Joe, for everything that you do. Thanks, Julie. Uh, thanks, Anne, for your presence and singing. Thanks, Annette. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Deborah in Kentucky. Uh, the birthday girl, thank you for being here. We're going to stay on. Uh, Kevin in DC, um, thank you for being here. Bonnie in Boise, Diane and Ramon in Puerto Rico, thank you for being here. Hoda in BC, thank you for being here. Fred in Silver Spring, Linda in Concord, Ruth and Clive in Birmingham, Anne in Silver Spring, Ooh. Delhi. Thank you for being here. James, thank you for being here. Kevin in New Hampshire, thank you for being here. Gary in Massachusetts, thank you for being here. Carolyn in Boise, thank you for being here. Julie in Ontario, Maureen in Edmonton, Nancy in Washington, Hindi, um, LMG, Aloysius, Sandy in Northern Carolina, thank you for being here. Um, Louise, thank you for being here. Penny in Victoria, thank you for being here. Kat and the Curly Tops, thank you everyone for being here. We're going to go off the live stream now. If you'd like to uh, hold up those birthday cards and those wonderful hats and decorations and flowers and all of these beautiful things, we will just stay on and, 